equation of a circle. You will see in this video how to find an equation that represents a given circle in the xy plane. By the way, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and activate the bell. It is very important for the continuity of this channel. A circle is defined as the set of all points in a plane that are equally spaced from a given point in a plane. This given point is called the center of the circle. The distance between the center and any point on the circumference is called the radius of the circle. Consider the circle drawn below. Point C is the center of the circle and P is just a random point on the circumference. We know that the distance between point P and point C is called the radius. Let us put the circle in the Cartesian plane. We now will see how we can describe circles in the, in the x-y plane using equations in terms of x and y. Assume that x, y are the coordinates of a point P on the circle. The center C is at h k and the radius is r. We can find an equation of the circle by using the distance formula. Through the distance formula, we can find the values of radius. Since we are talking about circles, we will insert the graphics data in this formula. Now, taking square on both sides to eliminate the root, it will now look like this. This equation is the standard equation of a circle. The standard form for the equation of a circle with center hk and radius r is given as follows. Let's see how the standard equation for the circle works. Write down the equation of the circle with center 4 minus 3 and radius 2 and graph the circle. We start with the standard form for the equation of a circle with radius r and centered at the point hk. We now replace h with 4, k with minus 3 and r with 2. To sketch the graph, we will first draw the dot for the center and then draw four dots that are two units away from the center in each of the four easy directions. Now just sketch in the circle the best we can. Find the equation of these circles. The question gives the graph and we are asked to write the equation of the circle. So you will learn how to write the equation of a circle when you see a graph. First of all, identify the center point from the graph and then identify the radius from the graph. In the first circle, we see that the center is the origin, so the center point is 0, 0. To find the radius, simply count the number of units from the center point out to the circle. The radius is 3 units. We now write the equation of a circle with r equals 3, h equals 0 and k equals zero. In the second circle, we see that the center point is 4, 5. To find the radius, simply count the number of units from the center point out to the circle. The radius is two units. We now write the equation of a circle with r equals 2, h equals 4, and k equals 5. We will now discuss the general form of the equation of a circle. 
The standard form equation of a circle contains the squares of two binomials. If the squares of the binomials are expanded, we will get the equation of a circle in its expanded form. The equation of a circle in its expanded form is called the general form of the equation of a circle. Sometimes we will be asked to determine the center and radius of a circle represented by an equation in expanded form. Then, to find its center and radius, we must put the equation back in a standard form. Let's see how we can do that. Give the center and radius for the circle. Then, write the equation in the standard form. We compare the general form for the equation of a circle with the given expanded equation. We match the x and y terms of the two equations to get the center point of the circle. The center point of the circle is minus 1 and 3. Then we make the same with the other terms. But now we substitute the coordinates of the center point to get the radius. Therefore, the given equation represents a circle with center minus 1 and 3 and the radius is square root of 3. Now we can write the equation in the standard form. Give the center and the radius for the circle. Then write the equation in the standard form. In this equation, both the x and y terms appear in a square form and their coefficients have the same sign and are equal. We must write this starting with x squared plus y squared. Here, it is best to divide throughout by the coefficient of the x squared and y squared terms. First, divide the equation by 2. Then, on comparing the general equation of a circle with the equation in expanded form given by the question, we find that h equals 3 divided by 2 and k equals minus 2. We compare the other terms and we substitute the coordinates of the center point to get the radius. Therefore, the given equation represents a circle with center 3 over 2 and minus 2. The radius is a half. Give the center and the radius for the circle. Then write the equation in the standard form. We compare the general form for the equation of a circle with the given expanded equation. We match the x and y terms of the two equations to get the center point of the circle. We find that h equals 1 and k equals 2. Then we substitute the coordinates of the center point to get the radius. The radius of a circle cannot be the square root of a negative number. Therefore, the given equation does not represent a circle.